Well, hello, boys and girls. We've got another dog story. Another dog story? You've read so many, Miss Stephanie. Yeah, I know, because there's a lot of great dog stories, Mimi. Yeah, you know what they say. What? They say the dog is man's best friend. That's right, they do say that. Well, what about polar bears? Well, Mimi, polar bears live in the wild for the most part. You're, you're an exception. Yeah, we're pets. We live with humans all the time. Oh, oh. well, they still could write stories about polar bears. Yeah, I know, and they do, and they do. Well, I'm excited to hear another story about a dog. Yeah, me too. I like dogs too. I don't know very many, just you. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, guys, why don't you come over here, and we'll get started with our next dog story, Gaston. Words by Kelly DiPuccio. Huh? and pictures by Christian Robinson. Gaston. Mrs. Poodle admired her new puppies, Fifi, sorry, Fufu, Ulala, and Gaston. Would you like to see them again? Fifi, Fufu, Ulala, and Gaston. Perfectly precious, aren't they? Mrs. Poodle thought so, too. The puppies grew as puppies do. Three were no bigger than teacups. The fourth, however, continued to grow and grow until he was the size of a teapot. Mrs. Poodle took pride in teaching her puppies how to be proper pooches. They were taught to sip and never slobber. Good. Well done. Very nice. Oh, nice try. They were taught to yip and never yap. Yip, yip, yip. Oof, oof. And they were taught to walk with grace and never race. Tiptoe, tippy toe. hoo -ah! The puppies were also taught how to look pretty in pink, nibble their kibble, and ride in style. Whatever the lesson, Gaston always worked the hardest, practiced the longest, and smiled the biggest. Mrs. Poodle was very pleased with all her puppies, Fifi, Fufu, Ulala, and Gaston. Spring arrived, and the proud mother was eager to show off her darlings. She took them to the park for the very first stroll in public. There was much to see, daffodils, ducklings, and dogs. Oh dear, who could we have here? Ricky, Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Would you like to see them again? Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. This was more than a little awkward. The mother sized up the pups. The pups sized up each other. It seems there's been a terrible mistake. Mrs. Bulldog said, breaking the silence. Oh, oh, Mrs. Poodle agreed sadly. Whatever shall we do? Mrs. Bulldog could not come up with an answer. I guess we'll let them decide, she replied at last. Do you see the difference here? It's a mix up. Gaston and Antoinette were young, but even they could see that there had been a mix up. The two puppies began to circle around the group. Gaston walked with grace. Antoinette raced. Gaston yipped. Antoinette yapped. And when they finally came to a stop, the puppies traded places. There. That looked right. But it didn't. It just didn't feel right. That evening, Antoinette tried to fit in with her new sisters, but she did not like anything proper or precious or pink. Pooey! On the other side of town, Gaston tried to fit in with his new brothers, but he did not like anything brutish or brawny or brown. Ick! Antoinette and Gaston 
weren't the only ones who were having a hard time adjusting. The next morning, Mrs. Poodle forgot all about being proper and raced back to the park. Mrs. Bulldog was already there waiting with her burly brood. It seems we've made a terrible mistake, she nearly shouted. Oi, oi, Mrs. Poodle agreed happily. This time, Gaston and Antoinette wasted no time trading places. There, that looked right and it felt right too. From that day forward, the families met in the park every afternoon to play. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette taught the poodle puppies a thing or two about being tough. Likewise, Fifi, Fufu, Oolala, and Gaston taught the bulldog puppies a thing or two about being tender. And many years later, when Gaston and Antoinette fell in love and had puppies of their own, they taught them to be whatever they wanted to be. Gaston. Gaston and Antoinette are awesome!